It's just letting everyone know that we do have other options, that not everyone has to be manually treated to still see improvement. We have people that drive over an hour to see us just because we have these machines. Hey everybody, we've got Diane here. She's been coming to see us for what, maybe about a month now? No, about two and a half months. Two and a half oh months. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, she was a little bit of a train wreck when she came in. She was hurting every day. She's taking some pain meds. Um, but we've got her quite turned around, so now she's being able to enjoy remodeling her house, okay? Uh, she's the queen bee of directing all activities, right? Uh, <laughs> frequents big lots on the regular. <laughs> so, but we got her, you know, with, with some low back issues um, and, and a little bit of neck tightness. Uh, everything has improved drastically. She's taking half the pain medication she was, which is uh, important. Uh, keep her as healthy as possible. She's kind of working with her uh, primary doc, uh, hoping to get off those pain pills, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, they She's are. very excited to get off of those, but slow and steady. And uh, I'll show you what we do. This is a low force technique called the Pulse Star. Uh, it uses vibration. And uh, and then we show her some exercises because we got to get her stronger so that she can enjoy all of her new house. I mean, she did the kitchen and the floors and the paint and the cabinets and <laughs> everything. Oh, we got new asphalt coming in. We got all kinds of things going on. Busy, busy. So did you make a decision if you're going to redo your deck? That's next year. You're going to wait till next year. Okay. Next year's the deck and the shed. All right. So... If you look at the scan over here, it's kind of nice. It gives us a little bit more information. It's by no means everything, but some of the bigger issues that she has is down in the low back, and that's where we're seeing some of the red and the yellow uh, bars here. So we'll start treating down there. So this definitely isn't as exciting as the manual to watch, but it's just letting everyone know that we do have other options, that not everyone has to be manually treated to still see improvement. We have people that drive over an hour to see us just because we have these machines. Right, Diane? Right, honey. You don't want to be jumped on anymore, do you? She, she got a big old hug from a longtime friend, and yep. we're, we're hoping that her ribs are doing all right. You know, there's no no fracture necessarily, but they're sensitive still. So, actually, last time she was in with some of the rib pain, we used the uh, kinesiology tape, and it's worked. And that, it helps give a hug. Without a doubt, that kinesiology tape helps if you have any kind of rib pain. And they've also helped with my, my foot was swollen one time. They put me in a contraption. <laughs> We've got compression boots. So if you're maybe an athlete doing some heavy leg training, running, um, or, you know, Miss Diane, she was walking and doing the laps at Menards the other day. <laughs> and it just, it really got everything fired up. Uh, so uh, without any, you know, contraindications or clots, we put her in a little bit of compression to help get that fluid, you know, up out of the legs. All right, now one more here, almost done. Okay, all right, Miss Diane, let's. We're going to start, we're going to show you, uh, I had her practice doing a hip hinge, okay, trying to work on that proper movement so that she's not bending over, picking things up and really aggravating her back, but starting to move better. So let's come over here to the wall, or actually we'll come over here, this will be good. So right through here, right, Okay. we stand, and what do we do, we tap her butt, right? Yeah. Perfect. Come on back. No, then we go back and come back up. Take a small step back for me. Okay. 
Good. All right. So go ahead and tap the butt and back up. And she likes the squeeze part. So we really engage those glutes. Um, when we go down, the hamstrings stretch, the glutes stretch, they lengthen. And then when we come back up, so same thing, we reach over for something, squeeze, and they pull us back up right. So we've got her practicing those a couple times a day because it's retraining movement. So it takes practice. Just like a baby learns to walk while we're, we're getting back after it here. Yep. Now let's go over the dead bug. All right. So let's have you lay on your back for me. Good, good. All right. All right. So we start with the legs up. Yeah. Good here. And then feet just like swoop in the middle. Right there. Yeah. Now, holding here, I got my hands on your ribbies and your hips. Let's tap this heel down to the ground, nice and gentle. Good. And back up. And this one. Good. And back up. And again. So from here, bring the legs, keep, why don't you actually try to keep your legs right there at 90 okay. degrees. Okay. Don't let the knee bend anymore. So you're going to okay. actually going to be reaching out just a little okay. farther from your butt. So go ahead and go down. There we go. And back up. Good. And then this one. And back up. Good. Go ahead. Good. Back up. And down. Good. One more on this right side. Reach out. Good. And again. Nice, good job. Okay, so core control, very important. It's going to get her stronger and make sure that she can keep enjoying my house, repairing it, and be uh, happy-go-lucky this winter. So, all right, you guys have any comments or questions with any low back pain? Maybe the manual treatment's not for you. We've got options for you. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.